This is a Merge Life Cellular automation that I created during a 12-hour run of the JavaScript version of the Merge Life Evolver. You can see that there are spaceships, and it's a fairly complex pattern. I'm pretty happy with this one. I'm going to show you a time-lapsed view of the JavaScript program as it runs through and evolves ultimately up to this particular cellular automation. This is the Merge Life Evolver written in JavaScript. There are much more performant versions of this that are available from my website. If you're going to evolve a large number of Merge Life genomes, I suggest using the Java version. However, this one lets you visually see as it evolves. This is running time-lapsed. It's not this, this fast, usually. This is running with eight threads, and that helps a lot, but um, you would not be going through them this fast. Let me explain what the various numbers mean as you're watching this. First of all, the top genome is shown. This is a merge life rule that is the one that is currently being displayed as you see it. Now, if the, green, if the screen goes mostly empty, that's just because it has, has not found a particularly good genome yet at this point. The next number, the current run, this shows how many times it's had to reset the population back to, to initial random genome. So if it, if it keeps refining a population and simply does not find a good enough genome after a number of evaluations, it's simply going to give up and start over. Also, if it finds a particularly good genome and has not been able to improve it, it records that genome and continues and goes on to the next run. So you can see the number of evaluations this run. This is how many genomes it's actually looked at for this particular run. So currently we're on the fourth run and it's evaluated about 4,000 of these at this point. The no improvement one below, that counts up and that's cut off a little bit. It scrolls off the bottom of, the, of, of what I captured. But that shows you that maybe we're up to 80 or 500 or however many. That is how many evaluations it's done and there has been no improvement. If this gets up to 1,000, which is what it was configured to, to stop, that's its patience, that's when it jumps to the next run. So you can see we're on run 6 currently. And as it continues to run these evaluations, the no improvement gets higher and higher. However, if it does improve it, it resets the no improvement back to zero. So improvement is governed by the current score that you see over there. It's currently 3.75. Um, just went back down to 2.3.88 or because we started over a new run. And this is, these are the key numbers. The performance, the evaluations per minute, that just shows you how good the current hardware is really doing it at this. This is using one of, uh, one of my laptops, and it is running at 135 evaluations a minute. You could get this much, uh, much faster. I'll also do a video showing how to do this in batch mode, where you don't get to see the display as it's going. It's just cranking through them as fast as it can, and it leaves you a directory full of images of the different rules at the very end that you can, you can evaluate. What this is doing is, as it finds um, potentially promising genomes, it stores those as the, the, the top genome. So the, the rule string that you see, just below it, off the screen, if you were to scroll down, that is where the complete list of genomes that is found. Now this is ran for 12 hours, so the complete list that we're going to encounter in just a few minutes is I think about four or five of them and I'll show you that as soon as this thing completes. So again this is running at very very high speed time lapsed and we are able to I mean that's a fairly interesting one that that blue one there that's one of the ones that it stores you can see a few spaceships and other things uh, it looks like it stabilizes very quick, but again, remember, this is really, this is 12 hours and about 5 minutes. So this is a very, very fast um, rendition uh, of everything that's, that it's going through. So those are all of the, the numbers and kind of in a, a description of really what's going on. 
The link to this is on the website, so I encourage you to take a look at this. This is really where the the various genomes that that I publish along with the uh, with Merge Life actually come from. So what what you're looking at now, it's largely blue, just because the the current one, you see it just abandoned and it went from 12 to 13. This is a somewhat cellular one that you see here, the red and the cyan. Um, it's, it gave up on that one as well. You can see the score, 1.86, 1 1.9. It, it continues to go up, but really it wants it to be in the 3 to 5 range, or what we consider pretty good genomes that this thing is going to actually, um, actually make use of. Towards the end, we'll see the, the, the one that I showed you at the very, very beginning. That's a, that's a pretty good one. I found that one to be somewhat interesting. I saved it. You can't see it too well due to the fact that it's, it's just running through it so quick. But that's a 3.44. It probably gets to, it might improve it just a little bit and move past 3.44. Uh, it stopped on that one. But it's, it's storing all the ones that are above 3.5. These continue through. What you want to pay attention to will be run number 19, which is about to begin. Run 19 is where the cellular automation that we looked at in the very beginning actually evolved from. So we'll look at the stages that it goes through. Here's the very beginning of run 19. It's really not that good. That starts to look a little bit more like the final one that you saw at the very, very beginning. You can see it's it's very sporadic and sometimes it, it doesn't improve quite as well, but it is eventually moving towards this, this final form that we actually get it to here. And this is the one that looks just like what we saw in the very beginning. It's just running so extremely quickly. It's a 3.84 score and that's good enough to be kept. It tries to improve it further and fails. After this, it tries for a little bit to further improve and create new patterns. We're almost to the end, and at the very, very end, we're going to see the list of, of genomes that it found. And there you go. These are the best genomes that were found. This list is also in the description of this video. And I'll conclude this video with the cellular automation that was ultimately evolved from this 12 hours. You can see there's spaceships and another other cellular activity going on between the spaceships. This automation will go on for quite some time before it finally stabilizes to all green. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to follow other research activities that I do, including Merge Life, please subscribe to my channel.